Hey everybody, it's Call Fireman here, and I wanted to make a short video talking about one point um, because I guess I sort of misread something in the white paper. Uh, my claim is still the exact same as it was before because I, when I did my research on ARC, um, I came to the conclusion after doing my research that it wasn't a cryptocurrency, it was a crypto token, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, so when I read the white paper on page four, it says ARC is not just a cryptocurrency. I thought it said ARC is not a cryptocurrency, so I thought they were coming out and being honest. Um, but it seems like they actually think they're a cryptocurrency. I'm going to explain to you why they're not, okay? I'm going to explain to you completely why ARC is not a cryptocurrency. The main reason is that you don't get the blockchain when you download ARC, okay? So when you download the ARC wallet, unlike every other blockchain that exists, you don't download the blockchain. So this should really give you a lot of pause. Why should it give you pause? Because it's not even like the... Uh, Lightning Network, where I even have my issues with the Lightning Network, but on Lightning, uh, you do get to download the blockchain. It's just the transactions only go on the blockchain. You know, like let's say you do a thousand transactions a day, you'll only do two transactions on the blockchain. So you'll get to see it clear on the blockchain twice a day. Um, so that's like I don't like that either, um, but it's decent, you know, because you still at least get to see, and you can at least prove like, oh, if my transaction didn't go through, I can still look at the blockchain, even though there's less data on the blockchain, and I can be like, this is the block where it screwed up, this is where everything went wrong, and I have proof of it because the blockchain's on my own computer. So if you're running your own node yourself, like you have your own blockchain, so if your blockchain doesn't fit with the other blockchains, like you have that data you have this you will have on your own computer I sent this transaction to this address and it's not showing up on the blockchain correctly now with arc if you don't have the blockchain blockchain downloaded yourself does this really work the same way um, technically speaking like you might be able to uh, still see it on your own coin but it like when you don't have the blockchain itself it just makes everything a lot different and a lot weirder because like when you if there's an error on your transaction on your own node you're running on like bitcoin since you have the blockchain like it's all right there everything you need is right there with arc if you don't have the blockchain you've got to get somebody else to like give you the data and stuff um so that's my issue with this uh so if you look at this like what backs arc so bitcoin's backed by the blockchain if you look at something that is just like arc where all the transactions are done off chain you can look at gold money now gold money is backed by gold so it's a different thing and technically speaking yeah gold money centralized and they're open and honest about it arc is sort of centralized and that it's centralized with the uh, 51 delegates uh the the big issue here with these delegates is you know the only thing that can happen to the delegates is they can be voted out. Um, so if the, if the delegates start being dishonest, one, if you send a transaction to somebody and it's not showing up, or if, it, if the transaction goes to the wrong address, like how do you exactly prove this? Like I know on your wallet uh, the coins won't be there and you can look at the person or like let's say you're sending arc to your friend and your friend will be like I don't have the coins but you don't have the blockchain to be like here's the block where everything screwed up I know you can technically look on the blockchain explorer but not having the blockchain downloaded yourself I really don't I don't see how you can do this and call yourself a crypto the second reason too why other than just not having the blockchain yourself why I don't call it a crypto is because it, it is more like PayPal now Again, without a blockchain, I don't see what backs ARC whatsoever. So um, it's almost to me like someone is just creating a digital ledger uh, that has no value and they're just putting it uh, alongside the smart bridge technology. The smart bridge technology, I understand that. I don't really think it has a big uh, market value because of atomic swaps, but I at least understand the smart bridges okay so with a smart bridge let's say you have a thousand dollars and you want to perform an ethereum transaction and perform an ethereum smart contract transaction well you can do that through arc like i understand that um, but here's another issue too with the 51 delegates like they have the 51 delegates have a stake in arc itself they don't have a stake in these off block like in another blockchain so if arc screws up these smart bridge technologies or smart bridge contracts on other um, currencies yeah technically that's bad for arc but it, it's like you're you're almost offloading the theft to another blockchain if you understand what i'm saying it's not really done with the arc currency it's done like you there the person using arc for a smart bridge 
transaction. It uh, doesn't really care about ARC. They care about, you know, if they're doing it for Ethereum, they care about Ethereum. Uh, technically speaking, they probably wouldn't use ARC again. So, yeah, that would be bad for ARC. But my issue here, again, is it's just like what what is, what is backing ARC? Okay, what is backing ARC? If there's no blockchain, what backs it? And why, why with 51 delegates is this, like, this is a trusted setup, okay? Everything about cryptocurrencies is that it's supposed to be a not a trusted trusted setup and going back to the point that I made in my video before again with something like ARC you don't need a crypto token to do it smart bridge technology so my question is is why add a crypto token on top and then why because I'm calling it a crypto token again because they took away the blockchain okay so it's almost like if PayPal did what PayPal does but tried to say we're also creating a currency but there's nothing backing it. It's just a bunch of numbers. But trust us, because if we didn't do it correctly, we would sort of lose money. And it's like, well, yeah, I guess. But I wouldn't trust that. Like if PayPal just said, you know, we're going to have PayPal dollars and there's nothing behind it, would you really trust it? And they'd be like, well, yeah, but you can check your transactions. Like we've got the, like we've got the history online for you. But the history isn't like downloaded straight to your computer. That's not. It's not a blockchain. This is what I mean. Like Arc is not a crypto. It's. It's. It's like a financial system that has a, or it's like a payment processor that just sort of created this list of numbers that it's now calling money. Now, the, again, the, one of the big issues I have with this too. If you want a real good book on the theory of money, read Lud Ludwig von Mises is. Um, so, uh, his name is Ludwig von Mises. Sorry, that came out weird when I tried to make it um, possessive. But Ludwig von Mises, the book is The Theory of Money and Credit. And in this book, he says you can't just create money from nothing. It has to have some sort of value backing it. Now, you could kind of say that the delegated proof of stake system sort of backs ARC, but it really looks highly centralized. And I'm saying it's centralized because you don't have the blockchain yourself. Okay, with any other blockchain you have the blockchain yourself so you don't have to trust anything you have it it's all right there for you but with arc it's not you don't have the blockchain that to me is a real big issue and so if it doesn't have the blockchain what backs it even if you're saying like technically it does have something backing it kind of what it has backing it is way weaker than any other cryptocurrency so maybe if you go back and look at that math problem maybe you can say okay maybe somebody might use arc as a currency um, maybe i don't see why you would use it as a currency if you're not using a blockchain like i don't know like what is a cryptocurrency without its blockchain is it really anything now again there's 51 delegates who have access to the blockchain and then there's something like i don't know how many delegates it is right now but there's like delegates who aren't actually minting the coin but they are nodes so they have access to the blockchain so maybe there's like a hundred people that have access to the blockchain does that not sound terrible to you guys i mean what happens if you get 50 people who are bad out of that hundred I, like I don't know you know technically speaking maybe you could make this a currency maybe but if it doesn't have a blockchain what's backing it like this is what I'm saying arcs not a crypto it's a payment processor it's like PayPal for blockchains and you bridge other blockchains and they're trying to almost add on what they want to say is a currency but if you don't have a blockchain how is it a cryptocurrency like what what exactly are you trusting here with this i know it's the 51 delegates but again with the 51 delegates like you still don't have the blockchain on your own computer that's the whole issue here a blockchain a cryptocurrency doesn't really function without having a blockchain on your computer that's my whole point on this so maybe for all you art guys at least the one thing i will say about you people on arc is they are more intelligent than the people on chainlink but my issue is still like the issue is still there the issue is still completely there. If you don't have the blockchain, how is this a cryptocurrency? And how can it be called a currency in general if all it is is you're trusting a list of numbers? Okay. So again, the whole thing with Bitcoin is you trust the blockchain and you like when you download the Bitcoin blockchain, you have the blockchain. Okay, you're not trusting somebody else's blockchain. So this to me, technically speaking, again, it could you could somehow come out with a currency with art technically speaking what is used as money is just what people accept as money my question is why would you accept as money something that has 
where you don't have the blockchain, so you have to trust something else. Like why do a trusted setup when you can have a trustless setup? And the trustless setup is actually superior because it's a lot easier. If you have an error, if you have an error on a blockchain, when you have the blockchain, it's right there. It's immediately right there. With Arc, you don't have the blockchain, so if you send the money, you just assume the money is there, but you don't have the blockchain, so you'd have to go to an external source to check the blockchain. I don't like that at all, guys. I don't like that at all. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I know I had a bunch of the art guys come on the, the last video say I was all pissy and mad. That's the way I do those videos, just to kind of garner attention. But uh, yeah, I still, like, if someone can explain to me how... ARC is a currency or a, a cryptocurrency specifically without a blockchain. I don't understand that whatsoever. Now, how without a blockchain can you create a currency? Um, and it, technically speaking, it does have the blockchain. Again, it does have a blockchain. It's just a centralized blockchain, and not everybody gets it. But if like that, that's a completely different thing here. Call me a purist if you will. That's fine. But I don't understand how this can take off if there's really nothing backing it and you have to trust outside sources. But anyways, that's the end of this video, so hope you liked it. There will be more coming out soon.